Hello everybody, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. As you probably know, I bring in a different business every week to help share some tips and advice within their industry. And today I have Len, and Len, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you for having me here. Sure, sure. And uh, Len, why don't you explain to everybody a little bit about what you do. I do uh, copywriting for people's websites and Google Plus page management. I help people get on to Google Plus and help businesses use Google Plus. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here today because a few weeks ago we had someone come in that was that were talking about SEO in general. So now that uh, you're here, I'd like you to elaborate on Google Plus specifically and um, start off by telling us what is Google Plus. Okay, uh, Google Plus is a social network owned by Google, and it's kind of a, a layer. It, it, brings together all things Google, from uh, YouTube to the Google Play Store, and just all things Google are, are slowly merging into Google Plus. Okay, all right, so are there a lot of people on, on Google Plus, or is it a fairly new platform? It's, um, it's a couple years old, so um, I, I like it a lot. It's kind of like a, uh, a Facebook and a Twitter, all rolled into one with some advanced features. But um, there's, there are more people, you know, still active on Facebook and the other networks. It is growing very fast, and it's not something that should be ignored by businesses. Okay, Len, so why don't you tell me, since you're speaking about businesses, how can a business actually use Google Plus? All right, well, a lot of businesses are already using Google Plus if they know it or not. So the old Maps listing and Google Places pages are now Google Plus local pages. So when you're doing a search and you see the results, um, those are Google Plus local pages results. So it's a very minimum. A business needs to have listed there their name, address, and phone number. The page needs to be claimed and verified. And they should at least put up the, uh, their website address and maybe add a cover photo and a business profile picture. Moving forward, uh, Google Plus can um, can really help a business because um, they can also post things in their stream that people can find and see. A Google Plus local page can own a YouTube channel, so if you're putting out video content, it can be shared on that page. <clears throat> it can go out and engage with other people, just like a personal profile can. Things you do in Google Plus are actually starting to show up in Google. When you use your Google Plus page, and it, it can affect the, uh, the Google Knowledge Graph, which uh, shows up on the right-hand side of the screen. It can actually affect search results. If your page is very active on Google+, and it's tied in with your business website, it can actually improve rankings of the business website. That's a, a whole other story for a different day, though. If you're active on Google+, you can also integrate your uh, Google+, local page into your AdWords pay-per-click campaigns. And there's a whole other advertising platform coming out called Plus Post Ads, and the only way to use it will be using your Google Plus content. So there's, uh, the sky's the limit. There's a whole lot that can be done with a, uh, a Google Plus page. I have a one, one uh, follow-up that I just wanted to mention for those of you that post a lot of videos on YouTube. I have noticed that when I upload to video that it automatically uh, gets then posted to Google Plus. Is there a way to deselect that? I believe there is a setting so that when you post on your Google on your YouTube channel, you do not have to share it on your Google Plus page. But if the page owns the channel, there's probably a way from for somebody to get through from your page to your YouTube channel and see the video. Okay, cool. But generally, a lot of people posting videos on their business YouTube channel want to share that on their Google Plus page. Got it. <laughs> right. Very good. All right, Len, thanks for coming in. I appreciate the information. And if any of you want to con continue this conversation online, please, please fill in the comment box below this video. And uh, check out uh, Len's contact information at the end of this video as well. Thanks a lot, and see you next time.